for certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. Well, another fantastic start to the day. No weather related problems. It is dry. The humidity is still on the low side and temperatures are Cool, 50 degrees under a clear sky in San Antonio right now. Cool, dry air coming in from the west and northwest. Later today, though, the winds will switch around to the south, and that will bring in some warmer air. 55 in Rock Springs, 46 in Uvalde, chilliest anywhere from far northwest Bear County to Kendall County and uh, Kerr County. It's 41 degrees currently in Bernie and in Kerrville, so not quite as chilly as yesterday morning, but it still feels very refreshing. Humidity. Low dew point temperatures generally in the 30s and 40s, couple spots along the border in the 20s. Higher humidity is expected. Dew point temperatures will be climbing over the next uh, 24 hours. It's going to be a lot more humid Saturday morning. That's when dew points will get into the upper 50s and low 60s. Should see a drop in humidity levels late on Sunday before it turns humid again early next week. High pressures in control, so it's mostly clear. Uh, and we're seeing uh, dry skies all across across the south central plains. The storm system that moved across our area earlier this week, there it is still across the Midwest. Rain and snow this morning across Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky. Dry at the moment in the mid-Atlantic, but that storm as it heads farther east, it's going to take that precipitation with it. Heavy snowfall right now across northern New England. There is a cold front out west. This is a Pacific cold front that will be traveling east and it's going to stop here late on Saturday. As we go through the day today, dry, sunny, again, winds turning around to the south. It'll be warming up uh, with highs getting into the mid 80s this afternoon. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny. Humidity a lot more noticeable Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, with more moisture in the air, we're going to see clouds on Saturday. I could see a few sprinkles early Saturday and then Saturday night going into early Sunday. That cold front comes in. That's going to trigger a couple showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. It's going to be very isolated here with a higher rain chances farther north. Should get enough dry air behind the front that clouds give way to some sun Sunday in the afternoon and that dry air may still hang out early on Monday, especially in our western areas, which would be good news for those in the path of totality, meaning the cloud cover may be not obstructing the view too much. Uh, the clouds will definitely be in place in the eastern zone, and that's where there is a chance for showers by midday on Monday. Then those showers will head a little farther to the west later on Monday. So here's the solar eclipse forecast. Really no major changes. Really the change is the slight rain chance. Uh, rain chance dropping from 30% to 20%. Another cool morning. We'll have clear skies. Uh, lots of sunshine once the sun comes up between 49 and 50 degrees until mid morning and then this afternoon we're going to warm things up to about 84 degrees. Here is your extended forecast 84 again tomorrow mostly cloudy on Saturday with the clouds 78 20 percent rain chance Saturday night 10 percent early on Sunday. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. If you missed this here you can get it online at news4sa.com. That's a look at your four zone weather. We'll be back after the short break.